Upon hearing the distressing news of a dog trapped underground, firefighters swiftly sprang into action. What unfolded in their rescue efforts is nothing short of incredible. Kay had always held a deep appreciation for the picturesque countryside surrounding her home in Shropshire, UK. The rolling hills, lush valleys, and verdant fields provided a stunning backdrop for her daily life. Kay often ventured outdoors with her faithful companion, Cookie, embarking on leisurely walks through the breathtaking countryside that lay right at their doorstep. She never took this natural beauty for granted, and her gratitude for their idyllic surroundings was evident. Kay fondly recalled, I can just look out of my bedroom window, and I get this amazing view, and I know that I'm ridiculously lucky. Not everyone in the world gets a view like this. I know me and Cookie certainly appreciate the location of our home. However, one fine and clear day, as Kay and Cookie strolled through the countryside, the well-behaved dog suddenly darted off, an unusual departure from her usual demeanor. Cookie, a terrier breed known for chasing and hunting small animals like rabbits, succumbed to the allure of a particular rabbit she had spotted. With unmatched speed and a knack for fitting into rabbit holes, terriers were adept hunters. The rabbit raced across a field, and Cookie pursued it relentlessly, barking in hot pursuit. Kay called for Cookie to return, even shaking a box of treats, but the dog remained undeterred, fixated on her quarry. Frustration mounted in Kay as her attempts to recall Cookie proved futile. However, what transpired next transformed her frustration into sheer worry and fear. The rabbit darted into a freshly dug tunnel, and Cookie, caught up in the chase, plunged into the tunnel after it. As Cookie pursued the elusive rabbit into the depths of the tunnel, the unstable ground began to collapse around her. The tunnel crumbled, leaving Cookie stranded underground. Kay, who had witnessed the harrowing incident, was consumed by fear and anxiety. She frantically attempted to unearth her beloved pet, digging with her hands, but Cookie was buried too deep for her to rescue single-handedly. From the depths of the earth, Kay could faintly hear muffled sounds, emanating from the trapped, confused, and panicked dog. Overwhelmed by helplessness, Kay wondered how she could save Cookie, and whether her cherished companion would emerge from this ordeal unscathed. The dire situation left her in a state of distress and uncertainty. Filled with sorrow and disbelief, Kay recounted the moment. She just bolted off. One minute she was walking by my side, just trotting next to me, and the next she shot off after this rabbit. The last thing I saw of her was her leaping into the air and disappearing into the ground down the rabbit hole. It was certainly out of character for Cookie, though I wasn't too concerned until I saw the hole collapsing. That's when I really got that sinking feeling in my stomach, unsure of what to do next. In her desperate plight, Kay dialed emergency services, 999, and pleaded with the fire department for assistance. She detailed the situation, emphasizing the urgency of the matter, and the desperate need to rescue Cookie. Fortunately, the firefighter on the other end of the line, shared Kay's love for dogs, and understood the anguish of a pet being trapped. He assured her that he and his crew would respond promptly, even though reaching the remote location in the Shropshire countryside posed a logistical challenge. Kay was advised to await their arrival. As Kay anxiously waited, she continued her frantic digging with her hands, all the while straining to hear any signs of life from Cookie buried below. Her hands and fingers bore cuts, and numerous nails were broken, but these inconveniences were of no consequence to Kay. Her sole focus was on reuniting with her beloved dog. Soon, the distant sound of a fire engine approached, gradually making its way up the field toward the location of the trap dog. When the firefighters disembarked from their fire truck, they faced a formidable challenge. The entrance to the warren, the underground labyrinth, had been obscured, and there were no audible sounds emanating from the subterranean depths. It appeared the cookie had ventured deeper into the underground maze. This complex situation necessitated the use of specialized equipment to determine the dog's exact whereabouts. Fortunately, the firefighters were well prepared. Armed with shovels and a range of equipment, including audio and infrared devices, they were ready for the task ahead. The lead firefighter recounted their initial thoughts. We knew that it was going to be an uphill battle. The warrens run for miles and miles underground. So if the dog had managed to work its way any further along the tunnel, then it would make our job much more difficult. That was the number one thing that we were most concerned about when we arrived on the scene. To begin their rescue effort, the firefighters employed the listening equipment to identify the approximate location of any sounds. While this equipment was typically used in building collapse scenarios, it was now adapted for the unique challenge of locating a trapped dog underground. Once they detected faint noises, the firefighters began to dig in that vicinity, hoping to unearth the collapsed warren, and, hopefully, the trap dog. Hours passed, and it seemed that their efforts might be in vain. The sounds remained elusive, and despite their diligent digging, the warren remained undiscovered. The firefighters had to proceed cautiously, as they feared injuring Cookie with their shovels. The painstaking process continued, and as time wore on, the likelihood of a happy reunion between Kay and Cookie grew increasingly uncertain. 
However, as the sun began to set over the picturesque countryside, a breakthrough occurred. Firefighters pinpointed distinct noises and intensified their digging efforts in that direction. As they drew nearer, they heard muffled howls and barks, growing clearer with each passing moment. One of the team members finally broke through into the warren, casting his shovel aside. He called out to Cookie and began to dig with his hands. With each pile of dirt moved aside, he revealed the stunned and bewildered face of Cookie, the trap dog. I knew she was close, remarked the firefighter who made the discovery. I could hear her, and each time I'd pull away some more mud and dirt, her noises got clearer and clearer. I know she was distressed, but her noises were actually a really big help when it came to freeing Cookie. And then when I finally found her, you could tell how happy she was to see someone again. Kay was overwhelmed with joy and rushed over as the firefighter carefully extracted Cookie from the underground confinement. She took her precious dog into her arms, holding her tightly, tears of relief and happiness streaming down her face. While Cookie was shaken by the ordeal, she emerged from it unharmed. It had been quite an ordeal for the small dog, and it was not an experience she was eager to repeat. Cookie would need a thorough cleaning, plenty of nourishment, love, and a restful night's sleep, but she would be all right. Kay expressed her heartfelt gratitude to the firefighters for rescuing her beloved companion. She vowed never to let Cookie out of her sight again, cherishing every moment with her faithful dog. Now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on this incredible story? How would you have reacted if it were your dog trapped in an underground maze?